All right, what is going on fam? So I made about $7,000, seven bands, a little over seven bands today. Took about six trades, five trades were green, one was red. Let's talk about why those trades were green, how I traded them, what was I looking at them, and uh, let me give you the source. Hey, the whole point of you watching this video is you wanna learn how to day trade, and if I can make the journey a little bit easier, why not? All right, let's fucking go. The first trade that I took was on SPY. As you can see right here, SPY at 1.34 a.m., which is my time, 1.34 a.m. Uh, which is 9.34 on SPY above 474.1 and uh, one quick source that I can give you is first half an hour of the market open I'm only watching two minute chart to day trade because there's less data so I want to quickly day trade on a two minute chart and from 10 a.m. Eastern time that means first half an hour after first half an hour to next one hour it's like 10 to 11 I'm watching five minute chart so after 11 I'm watching 10 minute chart this is how I trade anyway so what I saw here was on um, SPY and I also started looking at the whole trend thing in the pre-market right and if you know what trend is i hope you do if you know what trend is trend is higher highs and higher lows or lower lows lower highs and what's this forming this is a high this is a lower high this is a low this is a lower low the lower high than this so clearly we're in a downtrend as soon as the market opened as soon as the market opened or about to open right here we literally broke the trend so i knew that there's going to be a you know tiny bit of push because we've just broke the trend line we broke the old trend now the trend gonna reverse right so what i was watching it made a big move up the moment when it made a big move up i was like you know what i like this i like this here especially it broke out of the this i'm gonna wait for it i'm gonna wait for just a little little bit of pullback a pullback 932 was a pullback and it pulled back to the open price um open price is when the first order goes through pulled back there and the moment it kind of you know roughly around this area 474.10 this is when i started buying this and literally this was 130 140 percent trade and we took this all the way up and uh, roughly sold somewhere here um, I'm sorry that was that's just I have a weird thing with the time and my computer announces the time after every hour but anyway so how did I manage my emotions I was in the trade clearly all right it's moving beautifully and I saw this thing right here yesterday we were holding this price really really well look at this right so I was like all right if this can break this is good it broke look at this it broke out came back retest this on the next candle sweet and then for next like 30 minutes or so or maybe not 30 maybe like 20 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever we started holding this area and this area came from yesterday as well like look at this how strong we were holding in the after hours around here and also just looking at that ha stuff happening in the real time it's like enough you have like three times rejection i'm like all right you know what if this level breaks it's gonna be nice and the moment 10 o'clock hit this level broke it made a huge move up and guess what who was in this trade the whole time i was in the trade the whole time beautiful move this was spice trade and the reason simple entry was because i, I start watching the trend in the pre-market that's how i trade right this was spice trade the next trade came on nvidia so let's go in the video so nvidia it, same thing man it, you know it broke out of this pre-market high and i was like all right you know what it broke out of pre-market high it broke out of yesterday's high like look at this this is yesterday's high of 497 clearly this is so strong but i'm a sort of trader who likes for a pullback because i don't i don't want to get re, you know be in a trade and it price gets rejected around this 500 like no that's not me right so what did i do i waited for a pullback when it pulled back towards this again Watch this. This is the open price. All right. If you want to go and get this indicator on your charts, go on the indicator tab, literally type, type open price. And this guy, Fibri Lucan, this guy, all right have this indicator these are settings that i have on my chart i just want to see daily open and only from 1 to 15 minutes all right the price when it came back we tested this i was like all right sweet this is good and it got bought back up look at this this is such a bullish candle it got bought back up i was like all right if it broke this 498 you're gonna go and i said this alert out in my chat 138 so roughly in this candle i was like all right if it broke it out 938 if it broke it out it's gonna be good 198 broke it went to 500 we took some profits beautiful perfect executions beautiful trade all right this is the video and that was the reason for my entry because it was just strong it broke out of free market high it broke out of yesterday's high it was just like strong and i would waited for a pullback pullback came and i was there to take the trade next call was amazon on amazon pretty simple again this was a huge critical level that was holding the price here and i was watching and i wanted to enter after like initially we didn't know that they're gonna reject here 
right initially a little pullback happened and uh, you know i got this little hammer candle then a little you know inside bar candle or i like to call it the pac-man candle the previous candle is eating the full candle this candle i like to call them pac-man remember the games when we were kids i don't know hey, i don't know if you're that young or that old it was a pac-man game it used to be something that looked like this so the previous big candle is eating the small candle that's what i like right the, this is a pac-man candle like i like to call it anyway i entered roughly run when this pac-man candle broke stayed in the trade for quite long longer than i was expecting but it was a very nice move to my critical level took some profits here took some profits here beautiful 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 and uh, you know when it started moving lower i was like all right you know what let me get out of my runners so this was a trade on amazon again was very very strong broke out of the pre-market high it was just so strong broke out of yesterday is pretty much like critical levels that we were holding it was just so strong and i wanted to be a part of the trade because i knew that after every single wave and just put this thing in your head man if anything you, you can learn from this one little video is going to be after every one big big wave this is wave one they're going to be a wave two that is a pullback and then they're going to be a wave three right and i wanted to just catch the wave three and i did right and next comes meta and i was on fire but you know like i was on fire man meta again meta was so strong i was like jesus this looks really really good especially i was waiting for meta to break this 350 all right i didn't want to trade this before 350 is just a huge critical level even yesterday when the prices broke out it came back and retested this 350 multiple times it's just a huge hold number right so what happened i wanted to see a break out of this 350 it did break out right here look at check this here it broke out right here then it came back retest around here and what time let's say 147 and what time did i retest um this is like 144 anyway i was watching a break above 351 for calls there's a pullback i'm like all right sweet i like it i roughly entered somewhere around on this candle some somewhere around this candle i entered uh the moment you know the pac-man type candle pin i entered here because i knew that it bounced off this 350 sweet my stop loss can go just below 350 and i can catch a big move and uh, this was a first profit taking level uh, we were up like five percent at this stage we were not up huge but you know hey if there's a level you gotta take some profits took some profits here took some profits here took some profits here remainder of the runners got out beautiful trade beautiful fucking trade i think i got out roughly here but anyway still insane trade and then the last trade now it was after 10 o'clock 10 eastern so you see this after 10 o'clock and i had to i had to go on a five minute chart and after 10 o'clock i just go on a five minute chart this is what i do i had this 10 10 candle again the pac-man candle that i said uh pac-man candle happened um previous candle was eating this candle fully and i was like all right you know i'm gonna enter here and there was a candle um there was a move that we got i entered here stop loss you know roughly below this critical level of 475 let's see the stop loss never got hit but i made a move up to the critical levels of 475.5 got rejected there a few times look at this how many times it got rejected got rejected there like for 20 25 minutes it was holding around that area this is where we started taking profits and it was a beautiful move again all right now the trade that didn't work was this tesla trade everything was you know we did everything well on this trade again a big move already happened right a big trend line was on the top look at this there's a trend line bigger trend line on the top so i was like all right you know a big move happened this move happened then it came down retest this trend line big move happened all right sweet i was waiting for a pullback it gave me a pullback around this 259 was a critical level and the moment this 259 broke i was like all right you know what let me enter this 259 and we were in profits we were in profits a little bit but not much i was like you know this move can happen to at least 260 to 61.5 it didn't and the moment it started coming down and i was like you know what it's i don't like I, I'm, I was having a beautiful day and you know we were just printing money and i was like you know what i'm out done this was the trade this is the we finished it then but yeah six trades you know the reasoning why i took the trade spy nvidia amazon meta against spy and tesla and hey it's not just me who printed fam everybody in the chat look at this shit austin what 70 percent 185 Five percent of the account, <laughs> ninety bucks. Seven point two four percent of the account. Cryptwalk five hundred seventy one bucks. Four hundred nine dollars. Seventy eight dollars. Two hundred and twelve dollars. Ninety four dollars. Ninety three dollars. Hey, we're printing, and the day is not even over. You know, they'll be uploading more gains by the end of the day. But hey, I really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope you learn a thing or two from this video. And um, let's get this. Let's get this bag. All right, peace.